This is Joe at Blueberry Hill, and he's been putting in a deer fence for us at Highland Hill Farm. And uh, it's important to put in deer fence to keep the deer out. But we have another item that you might be interested in, and that's a deer feeder. And it has a tick aside on it that kills the deer. And it's up to 98% effective in wiping out tick populations. So give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 if you have a deer problem. We sell deer resistant trees and shrubs and we also have a four poster feeder to kill ticks. The deer bait station has four paint rollers on it which rub against the ears of the deer while they're eating. It's an efficient way to kill ticks on your property. This bait station has killed up to 98% of the deer ticks in an area. It's recommended that you use one feeding station for every 40 acres to get adequate coverage for your property. This feeder uses only, and I repeat only, whole clean corn. And the deer will only eat about one and a half pounds of whole clean corn per deer per day. So it's not that much per deer to feed these deer and treat them. The storage bin for the corn on the, the deer bait station can tell you how many pounds of feed are being consumed by the deer. This relates directly to the amount of pesticide you're going to apply to the paint rollers. You need to follow the directions on the label to figure out how much pesticide to apply to the rollers. It's not difficult. It's very easy to do. This is the applicator gun. By squeezing this, fluid will be sucked up through this tube that goes into the can. This is the pesticide. Follow the application directions and wear gloves. This is a new unit, so it's not dirty. But you'll, you'll draw in the amount of pesticide needed, and then you'll just push it down on top of the paint roll. So it's very easy to use. If you have any questions about it, Read the directions. The directions are thorough. Yeah. When placing corn in the feeder, do it on a dry day so the corn does not get moldy. Deer will not eat moldy corn and moldy corn won't flow through the system to the troughs where the deer feed. We like to keep track of the amount of corn that is consumed because with the knowledge of the amount of corn consumed, we can figure out using our pesticide label how much pesticide to add to the paint rollers. Also we like to make sure that in the trough where the deer feed there isn't much corn. When there's a lot of corn they can eat it fast and they don't get as much of the pesticide on their ears. We want them to work at the station to get the pesticide on their ears. We check the station once a week to make sure that the hopper where the deer feed from is clean and that the corn will flow out, that we have corn in our storage bin, and that we have the correct amount of pesticide on the paint roller applicators. In this manner, deer in your neighborhood will become your tick killing machines. The efficiency of this feeder in eliminating ticks in an area can be upwards to 98%. A 98% reduction in ticks will mean that you'll, your likelihood of catching the Lyme disease will dramatically go down.